Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to export textures and combine them in Substance Designer. So basically, I'm going to just grab one of my examples I've done some time ago um, and I want to extract alpha and combine the whole image into RGB channels with alpha as well. And we're going to export this and save this file as a TGA target file. And we're going to import it into the Unreal Engine just to double check if everything that we wanted out of Substance is actually uh, in the texture. Okay, so as you can see here on my screen, this is one of the examples uh, that I've done, right? So I've got two images basically, and as you can see, everything is just made in Substance. You can import your image or you can just do exactly what I'm doing right now. So I got two colors and I kind of want to combine them because I kind of like those two colors and I think they kind of go well together. Okay, so I've got this and now let's say you want to export this uh, this image as a target file. So what you have to do is just press tab and type uh, merge and you're going to have RGBA merge. Okay. So this will be our export and also you want to have split as well. So tab and type split and you got RGBA split, right? So if you've got, let's say I'm going to copy this and paste. And if you've got just a black and white texture that you want to export, what you might want to do is just plug this in like this. Uh, here, I'm just going to disable alpha. And as you can see, you've got this grayscale image, which you can just export uh, by clicking the save button. Okay. And once you click it, you can have an option what kind of file you want to save. So I advise you to save as a TGA file. It's a standard image. A format for importing textures and images into the game engine. Okay, you can obviously import uh, different files if you want, uh, different formats. However, I just use Targa, so I'm gonna explain how I uh, export Targa. Right, so we've got this uh, RGB merge, and basically, if you just use the, the grayscale, you can just save this file. If you want to alpha, I'm gonna uh, dive a little bit into the alpha here, but if you just want a grayscale, that's it. Um, me personally, most of the time I use the grayscale or one of the channels like RGB, one of those. And usually it's a R channel uh, to get the alpha and use it as an opacity. However, many times you just want to have a dedicated alpha channel, right? So if we will just plug this into the alpha, as you can see here, I'm just gonna um, double click here and enable this alpha, you can see we're kind of getting this black outline, right? So ideally we just don't want to have this. So let me explain how to minimize this using the color texture example, right? So I'm just gonna delete the, this uh, RGB split as well. All right, so we've got the colored image and what we wanna do, we're just gonna use split to convert those into RGB and we're just plugging RGB into the final RGB merge. So that's a uh, straightforward. And now if you're just going to use the same image or maybe we just want to convert that into a grayscale. So we're just going to use a grayscale conversion and we're just going to use this as an alpha. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click this button here. And as you can see, we're getting our uh, RGB and alpha texture, right? So if you're happy with this results, you can just save this as a TGA file. Okay, and it's gonna export RGB and alpha channel as well. However, usually I like to have a bit more data in my uh, alpha, okay? So what you could do, you could just grab this or your grayscale co conversion ideally and just run it through levels and you can manipulate uh, levels here. So for example, let's say you just want a bit more uh, data in your texture okay so you're still gonna get this black outline but you're gonna have um, a bit fine control over what you actually want your alpha to look like okay so that's one of the methods and the second one is what you could do you could just from your color texture use this uh, node which is color to mask so tab color to mask i'm gonna plug this in double click and use luminance 
and I'm just gonna move this mask range and mask softness. What I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do now, just so I have some basic values here, I'm just gonna click and select a black color. And we're essentially getting this. So now I'm just gonna invert this, invert grayscale, and I've got uh, this black and white mask and I'm just gonna plug this into the alpha now. So I'm just gonna double click. And as you can see here, we get a lot more data, but we have this black outline as well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna double click on the RGB merge, click once on this color mask we just created. And now I'm just gonna try to manipulate those values. And I'm probably gonna use this one, okay? So if I'm gonna plug the one I've made before, I'm getting a bit more uh, data now. And to be honest, in many occasions, this might work because I can manipulate the alpha through the power node in the game engine and basically get rid of that black outline. I can also uh, just increase the intensity. It depends what kind of texture you want to export, okay? But those are mainly three methods that I use to get an alpha but to be honest i don't get alpha many times i just use one of the channels but specifically if you want to if you have like a color texture the multiple colors there and you actually want to have an alpha then uh, those are the methods that you might use okay so hopefully that's going to help you a little bit with your exports and obviously uh, myself i just drag those into the photoshop and save them through photoshop just in case I want to add a bit more uh, values and a bit more uh, data in Photoshop on top of my um, substance work. However, if you don't own Photoshop or maybe you just don't want to, you know, go through another software, then just use this RGB split and merge basically and save your files straight from the substance. OK, so now I'm just going to dive into the Unreal Engine and we're going to import this uh, texture. So in the engine, you just right click use this import to um, your folder basically that you are in right now and there are no any import settings you're just gonna get this so i'm just gonna double click on this as you can see we are having our texture in the engine now okay so i'm just gonna disable the alpha enable it and yeah seems like everything works and seems like substance exports uh, RGB and alpha channels together. So I don't think there are any issues. If you actually don't need alpha channel and for example, you imported RGB channels and you're still getting an alpha, you can just, you know, optimize that texture a bit by uh, just disabling alpha here. And obviously you might wanna go through different settings uh, that might work for your project. All right, thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you a little bit with your textures exports.